Hallo, guten Tag. Es ist Montag und ich gehe. I don't know the Deutsch for bakery. <laughs> Hello, my fellow chatterers and book lovers, and anyone else who's popped in because you are curious or you're lost. I'm Chatty, and welcome to my channel, Chatty the Mad Chatter, where I will be chatting away madly about how I'm doing with the two books you picked out for me to read um, on my travels. So yes, we made it all the way across France and then across Germany and we are now in a little village called Sauerlach outside of Munich. And we've been here for six days now and it's brilliant. <laughs> Hello Carla, if you are watching. <laughs> um, so we are staying with some friends of my husband's um, and they have now gone on holiday and we are house sitting and it's just been amazing so far. Um, we have been in lakes, we have been around Munich and we have eaten lots and lots of pretzels. <laughs> um, so I have just popped down to the bakery to buy the morning bread for breakfast and I thought I'd give you a little update of how I'm doing. Um, I was hoping to do this in front of the fountain but it's really noisy and I have no idea if you can hear me so I'm just going to move to a bench. It's not as picturesque but you'll be able to hear me better. So I haven't had as much time to do as much reading as what I was hoping to do. The road is really noisy. <laughs> Um, I really hope you can hear this, I have no idea until I finish. Um, yeah, so I was hoping to do a lot more reading on the journey, but it just didn't quite work out that way. Um, when I wasn't navigating, that's when my children decided they'd finished listening to their Yoto stories and they wanted snacks or they were bored. So then I was entertaining them with lots of games like I Spy, Word Association and making up stories where I changed them as the main character and did my own version of The Hungry Caterpillar. So all fun and games, but not a lot of reading time. Um, but I have started both of the books. Um, so one of the ones you chose was The Girl with the Loudening Voice by Abby DeRay. I've read the first five chapters of this. Um, so the story is just starting to get going and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, the same with The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Um, again, I've only read the first you can see my bookmark there we go not got far into it at all um but i did want to update you when i'd started both of them <laughs> it's just taken me this long um but i'm really enjoying both books um so far it's just setting up the story and the characters um but i'm really enjoying both writing styles and i'm really excited to keep reading um these stories um so with the girl with the louding voice um i love the character aduni um already just her her voice is loud <laughs> she's fantastic and i so feel for her plight so it is just the basic um start of the book it's not a spoiler because it also says it in the blurb on the back but she is um she's been told that she needs to get married she is 14 um and in her village in nigeria this is considered normal um and it is seen as the uh, kind of the career that um women and girls would would have However, her mother, who sadly died, had bigger ideas for Adoni. She believed in her education um, and really wanted her to be able to go on and do whatever she wanted to do. And she made her father promise not to marry her off. Um, which, because the family is very poor and it's an easy way for him to earn money, um, didn't uh, he didn't keep that promise. Um, but Adoni is the only one who is fighting against wanting to get married and is you no know, everyone else thinks it's an amazing thing for her and that oh my goodness you're not going to be poor anymore how wonderful and um, but she's like but what about me <laughs> and no one apart from her brother and um, her younger brother understands so i love um the relationship between her and her younger brother it is adorable um and they are they're just so lovely together um, and their writing is amazing i'm going to read you a little bit to show you how wonderful the writing is so this is the start of chapter two I can find it. There we go. When the sun climbed down from the sky and hide himself deep in the crack of night, I sit up on my raffia mat, kick Chaos' leg away from my feet and rest my back on the wall of our room. My head been stoning my mind with many questions since this morning, questions that are not having answers. What is it meaning to be the wife of a man with two wives and four children? What is making Marufu want another wife on top of already two? And Papa? Why is he wanting to sell me to an old man with no any thinking of how I am feeling? Why didn't he keep the promise he made to Mama before she dead? I rub my chest where too many questions is causing a sore, 
climbed to my feet with a sigh and walked to the window. Outside, the moon is red, hanging too low the sky. Be as if God pluck out his angry eye and throw it inside our compound. I love all the imagery that she is evoking and how like, angry it sounds and just how we get an insight into Adani's mind about how she sees things and also mixed with um, more practical prose explaining how she is feeling and all the things she is exploring. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the traffic. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying this and I'm really looking forward to continuing reading and seeing where the story goes. At this point, she has not yet got married. It is still kind of in the preparations and her sorting out her feelings and realizing that actually she, this is going to happen. Um, we have a little bit of the history knowing that um, what has happened to other girls who have decided not to marry the people their family picked out for them and it didn't end well. So. Adani is practical, she is aware that if she ran off she would not get very far, she would not survive. Um, so she knows that's not the sensible plan, um, but she's aware her papa is not changing his mind. Um, she has not yet reconciled herself to the fate, her fate, um, and she's just feeling really sad and annoyed and angry that no one else sees the wet things the way she does. Um, and yeah. So I can't wait to keep reading, it's so good so far and I have absolute faith that it's going to continue that way. Um, and with The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, again I'm really enjoying um, Becky Chambers writing, it's very different but it's very, um, I knew this was going to be character focused from when I picked it up and it is incredibly character focused and I love it. Um, so we're introduced to our main character who's going to be boarding the Wayfarer, we get intrigue hints of her past. Um, that maybe not everything is as she says it is. Um, and we also are slowly being introduced to the crew. So, so far I've met the captain and the algae specialist, who sounds like a character. Um, and I've met the mechanics, and I've just been introduced to the pilot, um, Sissix, who is, um, I don't know the name for their race, but they are um, of kind of a reptilian, uh, a reptilian race. Um, but she seems really cool, so I'm looking forward to um, watching her show um, Rosemary around the ship and finding out more about them. So I've really just scratched the surface of this one, but I can't wait to keep reading and finding out more about these characters and how they gel and um, see where the story goes. So that's kind of it. That's all I've been reading so far. Um, I haven't been reading, haven't been reading much else. I've been, um, apart from, um, I have been trying to finish The Ship of Destiny. Um, so The Ship of Destiny by Robin Hobb. I don't have it with me because that would be a huge prop to take um, to uh, to go buy some practice. Um So yeah, I'm really enjoying The Ship of Destiny. It's, it's so good, Robin Hobb's so amazing. I'm terrified for all the characters, but I'm having a great time. But again, I haven't really got that far into it. I'd say I've read the first quarter of that, so there's still a lot of reading to go. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to continuing all my books. I don't think I'm going to read as much as I was hoping to. I've got quite a lot of books with me, um, hoping that I'd get some reading done, but it doesn't quite look that way. But I will update you and let you know how I continue to get on. So yeah, I hope you were able to hear this and I'm going to put this up straight away as soon as I get back to where there's some Wi-Fi. Happy reading everyone! Tschüss! Auf Wiedersehen!